BYU, of course, presses pretty much the entire game, so the Lions definitely prepared for it. Step back jumper in the far side corner by Alex Cowan is good. She gets her first basket of the game, and the Lions back to within two. It's eight to six. Melissa Soji controls for Santa Clara, coming left to right across the court. Now to the top of the key pass. Taken away and intercepted by Daniel Lenoir. And Lenoir, little up and under layup is good. Nice finish on the break by Lenoir, and the Lions tie the game up at eight. She's guarded tightly by Tyler Woods, who's also checked into the game. Pass over to Taylor Anderson, who knocks down a jumper. Taylor Anderson catches on the left side wing, dumps it down to Ashley Lovett. Mid-range jump shot is good, so another mid-range shot by the Lions. This one by Ashley Lovett. Santa Clara once again looking to feed the post. Now they get a double-team pass off to Soji, wide open for three. And we mentioned, got to stay solid on those switches and communicate on defense. As Santa Clara puts up another three-pointer and good for the Lions. Kalashaw. Drives her right in the right corner. Step back jumper from Kalshaw is good. Ends up the court right to left. Quick post entry on the far side to Alex Callen. Steps around her defender. Puts it up and in off the glass. Alex Callen with a nice move and an opportunity for a three-point play. Hazel Ramirez quickly down the lane. Nice feed off to Alex Callen who lays it up and in. On the shot clock, they'll take it out of their basket. It's Taylor Anderson off the inbounds. Open and knocks down the mid-range jumper. Inbound caroms off to Daniel Pruitt. Hazel Ramirez cross-court pass to Cowling. Up and in with the layup. Ball inbound to the top of the key to Lindsey Leo. Leo swings over to Ashley Armstrong, and now the reset to Ricky Rudinovich. Rudinovich drives down the lane, puts it up off the glass and in. Controls for the lines on the right wing, passes off to Alex Callen. Callen, top of the key, step back jumper, gets it to go. And lines 15 on the shot clock here as well. Inbound to Alex Callen. Callen to her left, open jump shot, banks it in off the glass. Soji's pass. Tipped away by Cowling, gets on the floor for it and gets it off to Hazel Ramirez. Great play by Cowling. Now Karen's open under on the other and then lays it up and in on the pass from Hazel Ramirez. 25 on the shot clock for the Broncos as they look once again to run the offense through Lindsey Leo. Kicks it out. Ladenovich for three and good. Santa Clara all of a sudden back to within two. 45 to 43. With just over eight minutes to go, Danielle Pruitt, as the Lions quickly go back the other way, drives down the lane and puts it in. Passes up to the top of the key, now swung to the left wing. Taylor Anderson, two dribbles to her left. Pull up jump shot from the left corner is good. Kalashaw controls over to Alex Cowling. Face up under Fender, shot with seven on the shot clock. It's a three and a timely three at that. Off the front iron, no good rebound off to Gilday of Santa Clara. They're looking to push and have numbers. Megan Phelps on the pass from Gilday, lays it in in transition. And Courtney Kalashaw, Kalashaw wide open on the right corner, knocks it down off the feet from Alice Cowling. Okay, congratulations on the win. No, Thank you. I know it was a, a tough win to get. You had a six game losing streak coming into this one and, and finally get the win. Talk about uh, what it took to get the win tonight. Well, first and foremost, you know, I'm so excited for her kids. I'm so excited for our staff and just how hard they have worked and how much they've just put into it. I feel bad for Santa Clara, know what they're feeling. Um, have so much respect for their program, their staff, and obviously their kids. And But our kids just came out here so determined to continue to build on, on all the heartache and the struggle and the, the growing pains, and I think it really paid off. I, I loved our defense. I really feel like it was a defensive game, and we took away their three. They hit three threes back to back, and our goal was not to let them get two threes back to back. And I, I think that was the only time that it happened in the first half. I think that was critical. This is a very good shooting team, and a team that that knows how to play. And uh, I, I just loved our defense. I loved our defensive effort. So I, I'm excited for our progress. I'm I'm just thrilled to death for them. Just cannot tell you how elated they are right now in the locker room and, and just proving that hard work will pay off. Yeah, and, and finally on that defensive effort, 20 turnovers, your team only turned the ball over nine times. Talk about just how you took care of the ball on the other end. You, you forced Santa Clara into a lot of turnovers. Well, tonight. I think this comes down to where Hazel is underlooked. I think when people watch the game, I've even had people say to me, you know, in terms of her being a point guard, uh, that they don't get it. But... At, from a coaching perspective and people who've seen a lot of games, uh, Hazel is phenomenal with the ball. And when she has 
really experienced players around her who know how to catch. I mean, that pass that she gave to Alex was phenomenal, and that's her strength. And when she's able to play in the open court and she's able to make those decisions, she makes us better. And what, we ended up with nine turnovers yeah. for the game? Un unbelievable. But I give that to Hazel. I give that to her. All right, Coach, final question <laughs> before we get you out of here. Uh, after getting this win, as you mentioned, a great win for the team. Uh, you head out now on the road for three games on the road and a, a tough road trip, of course, Gonzaga, Portland, and San Francisco. Um, how do you look forward to that road trip? We're excited. Um, this team has is, is probably been one of the most difficult seasons in probably 13 years for me. But I can tell you honestly, I have never had so much joy in coaching a group of women and girls, because those freshmen are still girls to me, <laughs> than this group. And so being on the road with them and being together with them, it will be uh, an absolute joy to be there. Uh, we're, we get a chance to play Gonzaga. We get a chance to play on TV. You kidding me? This is about, and this is what I said to our team the other night, this isn't about trying to win and, tr and trying to prevent us from losing. This is about playing for the love of the game. And the love of the game's got to come through how you play defense, how you execute your offense. This is not about wins and losses. Uh, for a lot of people, it is. But for us, it's got to be about the joy. And my joy right now is just coaching these women. I said it to them yesterday. I have so much joy in it. And to see them accomplish this and to move forward with it, I'm looking forward to the next opportunity to be on the court teaching and then to translate that into a game and see how it transfers over. So we're, we're, we're just going to continue to build. All right, well, great win tonight, Julie. Congratulations, and uh, thanks for coming on the post. Thanks show. a lot for being here, you guys. It's good to see you, Bren. Thank you.